We are here at Reading Simplified. Are you guys wanting to boost the achievement of struggling readers before the school year ends? Well, you're in the right place. So today's tip number two is for the Spring Forward 25 Day Challenge. So there should be a link above to snag this cool free 25 day lesson plan if you haven't already joined the challenge. This week, you'll start with two days of an activity called Switch It. Let me show you this plan. Ooh, here we go. So this is the 25 day challenge. Some of you may have already tried the first day. Many of you will probably just start it on Monday. So you'll do switch it the first day. And in this um, Facebook page, you'll find a video about how to do that. And then the next day you'll try the same activity again. Super powerful activity. And then the third day, we're going to do that same activity again. And then attempt read it. And read it is what I'm gonna talk about today. So if you wanna get this entire four week um, set of lesson plans for any struggling reader, be sure to go to the link above. And if you missed how to do Switch It, watch this page for a video on how to do it that was just out yesterday. Thanks for tuning in. So this week, as I said, you'll start with the two days of Switch It. And then on the third day, you'll try read it. Hey, Alexis, would you like to see how read it works? And anybody else? So if you haven't already, turn your sound on to listen to the student and teacher interaction that's coming very soon. And don't worry if you think this activity is too easy for your student. Um, stay tuned, so I'll show you how to vary it afterwards. Okay, so for Read It, our goals are to teach the blend as you read strategy for decoding. And also to develop short vowel recognition. Both of those are our goals. We'll see how we accomplish it. All right, and let's get started. What do you need for Read It? First, you need, um, ideally, some dry erase markers and a dry erase board. Okay, and if you don't have that, you can always use good old fashioned pencil and paper, but this is the most fun for kids. So we're gonna go to read it. There are those goals again, and we're gonna try this first word. Okay, so here's how you do read it. The teacher writes a word And then she asks the student, what color would you like? Okay, she's gonna take black. Okay, before we write it, let's figure out what the word is. Can you read this word for me? Whoops, stray pencil. Mm, uh, mm. Very good, but let's do something to put those sounds together, okay? What are those two sounds so far? Mm, uh. Yeah, and put them together and hold this vowel, this sound right here, like you're almost like you're singing it. Ma. Ma. Keep holding it. Ma. Ma. What's the word? Mom. Ah, do you have one of those? Yes. Yes, awesome. Okay, so now you take your marker and you write this um, word and say the sounds as you do it. Mm. Um. Perfect, so you read the word mom. And what she did was she learned the blend as you read approach. She didn't, I don't want her to go mm, ah, uh, mm. Rather, I want her to put the sounds together as she goes. Remember that was one of our first goals. But she's also getting reinforcement of these letter sounds. So let's get more reinforcement. Let's do the erase game, okay? Ready, say the sounds as you do it. Mm, uh, mm. Okay, let's do one more word from our list. Let's see, we did mom. Okay, now we're gonna try a new word. All right, 
right, let's try that. Ah. Uh, okay, good, good try. But this is actually ah. So try that. Ah. Uh, and put them all together. Stretch it up. Ah. Sat. When the word is sat. You nailed it. I sat down on the ground. Okay, now you get to write sat. Say the sounds as you do it. Uh huh. At. All right. Alexis says, way to go, kiddo. <laughs> Little high five. Now we play the erase game. At. At. And ladies and gentlemen, that's all you need to be able to do the read it activity. We taught the blend as you read strategy. Put the sounds together as you go. Stretch that vowel. And we also practice short vowel recognition by reading it and writing it. Both multi-sensory processes of, seg of um, the auditory, the kinesthetic, and the visual, all integrated simultaneously. But perhaps this list is just too easy for your kiddos. So instead of week one, perhaps you should go to week two, which would have some... Um, words that have the C, B, C, C pattern, or week three has even some harder patterns like the C, C, B, C pattern, truck. So whatever you choose, or if you, and if you don't like any of those words, definitely pick more challenging words. But whatever you choose, I hope that you can um, get into this spring forward challenge because we are going to be going for as long as we can, maybe up to four weeks, maybe five for some of you who have longer um, time left in school. But we're gonna really try to see what we can do to change our students' trajectory at the end of the school year. Um, so uh, I'm offering prizes. If you go to the post in the link above, you will be able to read about the prizes. And the best one is a three month membership to my Reading Simplified Academy. So that is pretty awesome because you'll learn all there is to know about teaching reading to anyone, a beginner or an advanced student um, who still needs some work on their decoding. So that's it for today's tip for our challenge. If you um, are, have gone to this post to get this freebie, look for some emails from me that will recap this and also keep watching this Facebook page. If you go to the notifications and um, click follow then or yeah, be no get notified, then you won't miss these Facebook Lives. But they'll also be here as recordings. So either way, hopefully you can tune in, get the, the tidbits of info you need so you can be excited about the end of the school year and not be worn down. But you really want to see those struggling readers accelerate and be successful so it's a great end of school year. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks, Alexis, for all the love. Good luck.